Hello, everyone. Welcome to this strange and interesting vision novel. So this is called Nikitashi, and it's by Krupo, and it's actually shorthand for a long, winding name. So the full name is let's see. Nikiki mitai ni shima ni sunyaru watashi wa do suruya idesuka, and that got translated to, is this island a utopia or dystopia? So anyways, some history. So this was released to Japan in 2018, and it was supposed to be licensed and released to English by Soul Press, but then Soul Press shut down because of tax problems. So Shirvune later picked this title up and they finished the job. So it's now available from Shirvune. So as for me, why this title? So I was interested because despite it having a strange and questionable plot and storyline, it was able to win many awards in Japan and I know that Krupo did do a lot of marketing for this title, so it did win big awards from the Moe Game Award, which is what IG used to decide what titles to put on this channel, and I'm sure the Western companies, they use this to help them decide which titles to localize and release to English. So this title won the Moe Game Award for New Brand, so that's Krupo, and also Best Scenario. So FYI, a good number of titles on this channel did also win the Moe Game Awards in their respective years. So I'm not going to explain much about what the story is about because I'm playing the original Steam version so they cut out 95% of the story to make, make it fit for Steam regulations. And you tell because this tile screen has nothing on it except for some options. And in the original version you actually see characters on the screen. So anyways, I'm only expecting that this playthrough will be two episodes long, so I'm only going to play what was kept for the Steam release. And I won't be showing you the 18 plus version, unlike what I did to Yuki Quim Melt. So this title was cut even more than Yuki Quim Melt. So Yuki Quim Melt, at least you got one root, Sataruhi's root. Whereas this, you probably don't even have all the common root. Well, obviously you don't. So anyways, let's talking, let's begin. Okay, so we're on some ferry. So the display changes signaling the end of the advertisement. It had run for, for a few minutes and it took about as long to play as the ship did to traverse the distance between the island's port of entry and our final destination. And the sound of of waves crash around us as the ship cuts through the water. As it decreases its speed, the waves begin to change their shape. So basically, the ship is now hitting shallow waters, which means the waves are changing their patterns, and I'm sure the water itself is becoming much lighter. So, cheers of joy can be heard inside the ship. So, the vibrant energy of this place is already, let's see, palpable to those of us up on the deck too. And the island can't speak, but we can all feel it's welcome. And yet, 
Okay, so the main character has a sister named Asane. And our main character's name is Jinsuke. So, staring at the big blue island, I mutter to myself, Guess we're back here again. So, the beginning of a new day is more or less always a pleasant affair. Oh, so they did also change this background image a bit. So, in the original version, if I remember, there's two posters on this blank wall to the left. And even being in an unfamiliar room, which I've just moved into, shouldn't make too much of a difference. And if I recall, those two posters are from games or visual novels before Krupo became an official company. So they came from some small group. And the vivid morning sunlight filtered through the trees, streams in through the curtains. And I hear the healing chirps of songbirds. Hmm, wait, so are those songbirds? Of course, that would only be natural. And it sounds so pleasant to the ears at the time a morning could not come from any other source. Well, no doubt about it. And this is the beginning of a wonderful day. Doubt. So undoubtedly, this morning is giving me its blessing for my first day as a transfer student. So as I slip my arms into the sleeves of my new school uniform, I find myself feeling a little anxious. Why? And my heart is thumping away, most likely out of anticipation for the all new people that I'm going to meet. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so that should do it. I straighten out my uniform and put my brand new glasses, or put on, and I'm all dressed up and ready to go. Right, so now to check on the other one of us, so the sister. So walking along the unfamiliar corridor, I step in front of the door standing adjacent to the door of my own room. Okay, so for Asa, we have this really big computer with many monitors, and you can see a monster drink right in front of the screens. So anyways, I open the door without waiting and call out to her. So the sister wants to sleep in. Time to wake up, sister of mine. It's morning. No thanks. What are you grumbling about? You're still... You're starting at a new school today, so you gotta have a good impression, so be on time. I stay beside the bed and shake her up. So what's all this, this about? So just say your name, or my name. So your name is Asane. So what about it? So, Asane. so basically, my name Asane means to sleep in. So not a morning person. So I think for the Japanese version, it's like, well, Asa is like morning, and then I'm not sure where the neg comes in. But anyways. Well, get your butt out of bed. So no more sleeping in. Okay, Asa. Are you ready yet? Have you brushed your teeth and gotten dressed? Yes. She turns up looking listless.
what, what kind of question is this? So we don't have much other choice being students and all. So we have to go to school. Well, stop thinking so hard about the reason why. So we have to go anyways. And that's simple as that. So basically, why study? Why do, you, do we have to do all of this? What's the purpose of this anyways? So my sister is suddenly struggling with the theory of ideas. And when she gets like this, she's as a real pain in the patootie. It's impossible to get her to budge. But as her older brother, I need to find some way of getting this lazy, unmotivated sister of mine to come along to school. So what will he do to convince her otherwise? Oh, well looking at you closer, so don't you look great in your uniform? And what a complete surprise. So it's so different when you're in your uniform as opposed to your usual clothes. She may be a space case, but she's also an electronics wizard. And that really cuts my work out for me dealing with her. So it's like, well, she can use the computers to entertain herself. So when they don't have anything to do, she won't be a bother. But still, I don't want to go to school. She crouches on the ground and points to the door. Um, well, I guess I can't argue with that. So this item is crazy. And I've tried as hard as possible to keep the thought out of my mind. And the thought of what's waiting for us the moment we step outside. Maybe Asa's light. Oh, so she's right. Wouldn't it be safer for us to just stay inside and lay low? Right. Well, that would be the best. Well, let's do that. Better safe than sorry, after all. So we'll just stay home today and, um... No, 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 we can't do that. So, he's getting deceived by his sister. I suddenly come to my senses. I can feel the piercing gazes of our dearly departed parents from a photo in the entryway. So, for father, mother, please forgive me. I swore on your graves that I would properly raise this hopeless sister of mine, so please help me God. Okay, well, that's enough. So you keep this tantrum up, and I'll sting you. Oh, so I'll sling you over my shoulders and carry you there. So I'll drag you there if you are not going to go on your own. No, I don't want to. So I don't want any of this. I want to be in my bed and sleeping in. So he does bring his sister to school anyways. So man, it's a scorcher today. And I shoot my eyes with my hand and gaze up at the sun, which is already hanging quite high in the sky. It's only the beginning of May, but the sun's already feels hot enough to burn my arms. Only a couple of days ago, we were both in Tokyo and, let's see, dressed for cold weather. Well, gotta love tropical islands, huh?
Well, at least the typhoons will cool down the island, so instead of having hot, sizzling, sizzling summer days, Asane takes a pamphlet she got on board. Let's see. The ship out of her bag and skims through it. Right, so give me that pamphlet. So, I'll find the route myself. Wait, so you don't trust me? So how about you let me do some work and show you my worth once in a while? Well, don't be ridiculous. I can't at least read a map. Right, so let's see um, here. So on the first page of the map is a general outline of the entire island and the second page has road details on it. So this island has a distinctly unusual shape when viewed from above. So you can see what it is. So an aerial view shows a heart-shaped bank running around the outside of the island we're staying on. And the airport and island entry inspection is on the shore making it the rest act as a natural fortress. And evidently, it was viewed as some kind of defense line or something during the war. Ooh, so the coral reef sticks out above sea level on the shore. Okay. So tourist cottages staying above water line the bay and beautiful blue sea is surrounded by a barrier reef. And it's unusually called something like the Alluring Sea. So okay, so it looks crystal clear, likely owing to the coral reef glowing in the shallows. So the waters look beautiful, shining. And given that this is a tropical island, I'm sure there are many nicely colored animals or sea creatures. So the contrast between the light blue water of the shallows and the deep blue perimeter where the island's boundaries form undoubtedly aided in giving the island its fitting name of Siren or Indigo Blue Island. And you think, I lived here way back when, uh, well, makes me kind of weird, let's see. Uh, so relearning all the stuff in this pamphlet. So we were here in the past and we kind of forgot about what happened or what this place is like. So it's kind of interesting to learn all this back again. And I'm sure it's different back compared to what it was. So Asane peers over my shoulder in order to lead the pamphlet herself, or read the pamphlet. Well, where? Uh, so were there many? So, okay, so were there that many when we used to live here? So back then, there weren't that many people, but now it's been growing steadily and it all adds up. For some time in Japan, there had been much also, also much ado made about the declining population. And even now, things haven't all changed much, with people increasingly moving out of the main city centers and into surrounding areas, things are reaching critical mass. But Sarah Island has proved an exception, so its population has not decreased, but rather has been continually increasing. Of course, there's a good reason for that. So I'll explain about this once I complete the playthrough for the Steam version. 
So anyways, he's down class. So, um, my name is Jinsuke Tachibana. I transfer here from Tokyo. I used to live on this island a long time ago, but I was young then, so I don't remember anything of it. So basically, I'm as good as a newcomer to Sarah Island. And my hobbies include computing, making things, and bodybuilding. So, nice to meet you! And as I bow my head, the classes. Oh. So the classroom breaks out into a rousing applause. Hi, hi. Okay, everyone, so quiet down. And the classroom teacher seems unfazed. Perhaps transfer students are not all that rare here. Okay. Okay. So the first period begins in silence. And it looks anticlimactic, quiet, and serious. And the teacher follows the textbook, and the students silently take notes. And is everyone here super diligent? And they seem to be taking things much more seriously than my school back in Tokyo. Okay, anyways, so let's see what page are we on now. Hmm. Um, so page 42. Uh, well, okay, so thanks. And a text turn looking student next to me answers in a slow voice. Okay. Uh, yeah, likewise. So my little sister should be able to get a proper education here too. I suppose. Okay, so class ends. So a little while later, first period draws to a close. So, how was this school? A moment later, my desk is surrounded. So, do you have any problems? We're happy to help. So one after another, in steady fashion, each of my classmates comes to my desk. They didn't have time to make introductions to me, so I guess this is making up for this. And I suppose being a transfer student would also count for all the commotion they're staring up around me. Yeah, so this isn't so bad. And I might just be able to live a normal student life here. Hmm, okay. So morning classes are now over. And all in all, it was a uneventful morning, even so five minutes breaks and all right to the end. So from here on out, we get a longer break for lunch. That makes sense. Oh, uh, wait. So, looks like no one has come back yet. We changed classrooms for the fourth period, but not a single classmate has returned. And funny that I could have sworn we all left the other classroom together. Well, whatever. Well, time to go grab a bite. Okay, so who cares? I want to eat, I'm hungry. And I'm pretty sure they have a cafeteria here at, let's see, Miyotsuki Academy too. I did bring my own lunch, so I'll need to buy something there. And with that thought on my mind, I turned to leave the classroom. 
and at practically the exact instant, the class bell rings out. So, did he miss the lunch hour? It's over. So we don't know what happened in between whether or not he did get his lunch and as to why everyone disappeared. But that's something for me to review at the end. So I breathe a sigh of relief. So that finishes today's classes. And it felt like an awful long day. I need to meet up with Asa before I can mentally process all this stuff. And the teacher has a request for him. Oh, so Tachibana-kun, I have some documents I need you to fill out. So can you come by the staff room? And the young female teacher waves and leaves the classroom. So I still have some necessary paperwork to do, huh? Well, I don't know what kind of documents I need to finish, but it's best for me to just get this over with and head home. Uh, okay, so he goes to the staff room. So, excuse me, um, this is Tachibana-kun. Our classroom teacher comes rushing out into the hall, bringing the documents with her. So, here you go. Okay, here you go. Uh, oh yes, certainly. Hmm, this school is crazy beyond my wildest dreams. And what can I say but yikes? It's hard to believe or even believe this island is normal once upon a time. So what now? Um, I don't want to go to school. I see, so you're in a perfect form again today. So he, he's using the same tricks like yesterday to convince Asana to go to school. So, you, you know, you look nice in your uniform. I managed to get her to change into her uniform and eat breakfast, but she's still just sitting in the living room, hunched in the field position. So no, I'm not going, I'm not going, I'm gonna stay here, I'm gonna sleep in. Come on, so type your hair and let's get going. No way, I'm staying home. Or cry out loud, do you want to get even dumber? So, you know, just knowing basic is enough for me. Well, please, you can't even manage long division. So, in short, you're not even good with your basic arithmetic anyways. Well, no, it's easy. Perhaps it... If you could do your multiplication tables, then, uh... So, I'm pretty sure Asane can't even do multiplication or division. And she's trying to come up with, I'll say, justification about, you know, I know it, I just need time. I don't have to go to school for that. So nothing past the sixes. Okay, so that means you need to go to school. I didn't think our family is this genetic, see, genetically challenged, but my sister's is just out there living off her impulses like an animal. So basically, let's just stay home today. Let's be alone in the house and um, well, what are you going... Oh, so where are you? Some kind of... Let's see. Uh, wait. Scardent 
rude monster. Still, I can't understand why she does not want to leave the house. It's not like I want to go to such a dangerous place either. Maybe us is right. Yeah, well, we'll just camp out at home to... No, 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 no. Oh, so cripes. No, no, no. Can't do that. The portrait of my deceased mother is staring at me. So, if we do skip school, I'm sure our mother in the afterworld isn't going to be happy. Well, damn it. So, I almost fell for my sister's nonsense again. So, I almost fell for her trap again. You know, well, I don't really want to leave the house either, but... I made a promise to our parents. Uh, yeah, so I did agree or make a promise to my parents as well, so I gotta be good with my arithmetic or my basic operations. And even if they're gone now, I still want to make their last request come true. And I'm not just doing it for them, but for you too. So you gotta make them happy too. And there's no one outside this house left for us to rely on. So we're alone against the world. So let's just work at it together out there. And I'll make sure so that you master your multiplication tables. <laughs> Oh, that's good. So I want a hug. And we engage in a warm embrace. All right. So let's make it back home safely again today. Okay. So how is it? Oh, uh... That's our neighbor. Oh, good morning. Go on. So Asa says, so say hi to her. Hello? And it's not like we haven't seen her before, but Asa still cowers behind me. Oh, um, she's scary. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we... Are, oh, so we really appreciate this. I wave a hand at the neighbor's wife as we walk off. And even just casual conversations with the neighbor are wearing me out. But anyways, back to the prior topic of discussion. So for now, it's most important that we get to and from school without being seen by anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where I shine. So I play many games that deal with stealth missions and I can use my expertise here and help us get to school safely and on time. Well, I'm not sure the old cardboard box trick will work on these people. Well, I'm sure Asan has more tricks than just the cardboard box. Wait, so there's a wall behind... Uh, Asa tackles me, pushing me against the wall, high behind an electric pole. Well, sister or not, I'm seriously about to sock you in the mouth. So while Jinsuke is not happy that, hey, you pushed me into the bushes, Asana's like, well, I can detect something, so someone's looking at us, so we gotta hide. Wait, really? She's right, I can hear footsteps approaching. Perhaps, let's see, her des okay, so her sedentary lifestyle has somehow endowed her with animalistic super hearing, so she was able to hear the footsteps even while we were talking. That's good. 
and perhaps she really is suited to this stealth-based mission. Hmm, let's see who's coming. Wait, so it's just a little girl. Oh, oh, it's just a little girl. There you go. We watch a ditzy looking girl walk past from the shadows of the electric pole. And I push Asa off my back and give her a reproachful look. Hey, so what's so harmful about this person? Wait, she's not a little girl, so she's older than us. I very much doubt that. So how about we make a bet? In your dreams, maybe? So, coming to think of it... Wait, so it must have been about that little when we used to live here. Well, no point in brooding over that, so let's go. We decide to avoid major streets and only take narrow paths in order to not to be seen, but unfortunately... Uh, wait, so who had thought that we'd end up wandering around in here? So, a forest with a very, I would say like, dirty path, so lots of shrubs. So Sierra Island is not that big, it's just circuitous. And only the main roads are drawn up on the map. And there's a lot of newly built houses around, so relying on my prior memories is not going to help. So basically the roads have changed and it's not the same as it was before. Probably would have been a better idea to take a walk around this island beforehand, or to get a better feel for the streets. <sighs> okay, so we finally made it. Phew, Asa, so are you still with me? Well, I'm tired. And obviously th this is before class, so Asan has no more energy to listen to lectures today. Oh, okay, well, my sister is breathing like she's destined to bring balance to the force. At least we made it to school on time. I'm not used to the layout of the school yet, so showing up in this nick of time probably is not so bad, all things considered. Right, so I'll need to go home ASAP now that school is wrapping up. Okay, so that's all for today! And before she can finish her sentence, I run like the wind out of the classroom and the perfect environment to slip out unnoticed. Okay, so I just have to message Asa real quick. So I'm going home. I put out my tablet and tell her to wait for me in front of the, of the school gate. Oh, so wait for me, I'm coming. And I was late into the gate, but I didn't see her there. After a few loops on the dial tone, she finally picks up. Um, Asa, so where are you? I'm sorry, so I went home first. Well, you're home now, so no worries. I should be back soon, but I'm just going to do a bit of shopping on the way there first. So, can you buy me something? What do you want? If it's prepaid debit card, then forget it. Oh, so I want a pillow. Okay, alright. So will any pillow do? Well, I doubt you'll wake up even if you didn't have one though. So anyways, I'll get one for you. Okay, later. Right, 
So how do I get to the shopping district from here? Surely there's someone on the island to buy bed items. And come to think of it, I've heard they put a, up a new department store in the shopping district recently. Alright, so I'll try going there first. Hey, uh, sis, so don't mind me, it's nothing. I drop the shopping bag and then flop onto the floor. Well, at least they actually have pillows here. So, what about it? Wait, so what's this? Okay, so the pillow has a yes on it. Oh, it's a yes or no pillow. Seriously? Well, I'm sure Jinsuke would have seen the pattern before he bought it. So he should be surprised. Well, I'm so done right now. Great, so with this pillow, I no longer have to speak, so I can use this to answer questions. Well, I suppose it is worth as long as she's happy. Well, I got home earlier than I was expecting. Well, I guess I should do some of that housework I've been putting off. I warily got up and go over to the kitchen. Um, Asta, so can you help me with cooking? I'm going to make stir fry vegetables, so can you cut some up? Uh, I'm going to put bell peppers in it too, so make sure you eat them. And we see Asana give Jinsuke the nope, no thanks. Uh, can you wash them for me after you finish cutting them? So do you want finely chopped chives or white bait fish? So basically, no, 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 no. So Jinsuke is getting upset. Hey, if you're not going to answer me, I'm just going to throw in a whole cup of white bait. So I'll make you eat it. And I'll make the dinner not what you expect. Okay, so now she finally speaks up. Wait, so what's wrong with this white bait? It's the same color and all. No, 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 no thanks, no thanks. I, I don't want white bait. And by the time she's finally recovered, dinner is ready. And the two of us sit at the table together, bonding like good siblings ought to be. Hey, don't say that. So even I can tell this is not exactly Hati cuisine. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I know, so I did a bad job and um, we both sigh. So unfortunately, this is the best we can do. And two of us are utterly hopeless when it comes to basic household chores. And hardly surprising though, Mom took care of that stuff for us until recently. And suddenly losing both of our parents meant we did not have anyone to teach us to live without them. Hmm, so can we eat out sometimes? Well, I love to, but believe me, the money is already pretty tight around here. And we do have some savings, but we have to be mindful of our spending, lest we end up broke. And we have little choice but to scrimp and save at every chance we get. Well, we'll just have to keep at it to make ends meet.
Okay, so now it's time for bed, so uh, okay. <sighs> Another exhausting day. After getting out of the shower, I got back to my room and immediately get into my futon. And my head's killing me and I feel weary to the core. I stare at the ceiling and recall today's events like a revolving lantern in my mind. I slowly close my eyes. And for Asa, so I think it's the same as usual, so she can't get up. Okay, so it's the next day and Jinsuke is like, Come on Asa, it's morning! Why does it shine? It's morning. As per usual, I'm shaking Asa trying to wake her up. I'm sure the pillow made it more comfortable for her to sleep in more. Wakey wakey Asa, it's morning! I can't wake up. Well, you better hop to it. So, just call my name. What the hell are you talking about? I'm about to go beast mode on her, but she's lying on her futon and not moving a muscle. She moans and groans, but her eyes stay shut. She's evidently still drifting through the La La Land. And this whole thing of her lapsing into being an anemic, motionless pill bug happens to be more often than I like to admit. Well, Mamma Mia! Well, I caramba! And at times like this, I have to do everything from A to Z to get her up. Oh, uh, well, okay. So he's gonna force her up by carrying her. So you're heavy. As her sister is very much in the midst of a growth spurt and has plenty of meat on her bones, she's heavier than she looks. And I carry her over my shoulder like a sack of potatoes and leave the room. Come on, so get dressed. <sighs> okay. Okay, so I'll leave the episode here, so I'll finish up this short playthrough in the next episode. So, so far you can see that most of it is focused on just Junsuke and his sister Asana. So the fact that they just moved here, they're going to school, and things are going well in class, but it's exhausting for both Junsuke and Asana. And obviously, you can see that there are a lot of things that were cut out so I'll be talking about why once I complete this playthrough. So anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.